Hi everyone, this is Shubhamoy. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So in this video, I'll be talking about learning data structures, algorithm and development together. There are multiple videos about DSA and development, but most of the videos talk about either DSA or development and none of them talk about learning both of them together. And that's exactly what I'm going to talk about. And that's exactly what I am doing right now. I am learning DSA and development together. Uh, also, one more thing, you should only learn both of these things together or parallelly if you are starting out early, like if you are in first year or second year, then only you should go for learning DSA and development together or parallelly. But if you are in third year or fourth year, then you got less time. And at that time, you should definitely focus on one single thing, either brush up your development skills or brush up your DSA skills. You should only learn both of these things together if you are in your first year or second year or you got a lot of time or if you're starting out early like me so with that being said let's get started with the video and also make sure you subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and yeah let's get started so this is how my schedule looks like every single day i spend two hours on solving questions by solving questions i mean dsa dsa ka jo main fund hai that is building logic logic building process DSA का मेन है लिंक लेस टैक्स क्यूज जितना भी डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स का टॉपिक है वो सीखने में ज्यादा दिक्कत नहीं होता है दैट इज वेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड दैट इज आल्सो वेरी इजी टू लर्न बट मेन जो प्रॉब्लम आता है दैट इज ऑन द प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग पार्ट व्हेन एवर वी गेट अ क्वेश्चन वी हैव अ हार्ड टाइम अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट एंड देन अप्लाइंग अ प्रॉपर लॉजिक स्टेप बाय स्टेप लॉजिक टू सॉल्व दैट पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन सो यूजुअली आई ट्राई लीड कोड हार्ड बट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम आई एंड अप सॉल्विंग इजी टू मीडियम लेवल क्वेश्चंस बट आई एम कंप्लीटली ओके विद इट बिकॉज़ आई कैन सी माय progress each and every day i spend at least 2 hours every day on dsa and i believe you should also do the same if if you can give more than 2 hours every day then it's absolutely fine but you should definitely not go for 1 hour or 1 and a half hour your time should be at least 2 hours every day on dsa more than 2 hours is great but minimum time should be 2 hours you should be spending 2 hours every day on dsa if you want to learn dsa and development together kyunki uh, after after dsa you also need to give give some time to development as well so saying this again i try lit code hard but most of the time i end up solving lit code uh, easy and medium but i'm fine with it because i can see my daily progress every day i end up solving 6 to 7 questions uh, easy easy level ka question solve karna bahut hi aasan hai medium level thoda मुश्किल टाइप का है बट हो जाता है बट हार्ड लेवल समटाइम्स आई एम आल्सो एबल टू सॉल्व हार्ड लेवल क्वेश्चन बट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम ये नहीं होता है आई हैंड ऑफ सॉल्विंग इजी टू मीडियम लेवल क्वेश्चंस बट आई एम कंप्लीटली फाइन विद इट वो क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करने के बाद जो सेटिस्फेक्शन मिलता है दैट्स एब्सोल्युटली आउट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सो या यू शुड बी यू शुड बी स्पेंडिंग मिनिमम ऑफ 2 आवर्स एवरी डे ऑन डीएसए एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द टाइम लाइक 2 और 2 एंड अ हाफ आवर्स यू कैन स्पेंड टाइम लर्निंग डेवलपमेंट सो spending 2 hours on dsa is going to be completely fine and uske baad ka jo time hai rest of the time that you can uh, get uh, you can definitely use it to learn development like right now i am learning back end development and after giving 2 hours on my dsa i can hardly give around 2 and sometimes 3 hours on development so i am giving my 2 to 3 hours in learning right now so the moment i will be done with learning basics of back end and, and the moment i'll start feeling confident i will uh, give out that time on building projects so 2 hours on dsa and 2 to 3 hours on uh, building development stuff and ye jo time hai 2 hours 2 to 3 hours ye jo 4 5 ghante ka jo time hai i am considering this time given that you have to attend your college then you need to do your own stuffs and things and uske baad wala jo time hai so if you are not going to college if your attendance scene in college is chill then you should definitely uh, sort your time out accordingly to your needs like you can like if you can you can give 3 uh, to 4 hours on your dsa every day and also again 3 to another 3 to 4 hours on your development you will be able to learn quickly but given that you have to attend college your attendance in college is not chill after attending college you hardly get around 5 to 6 hours so 4 to 5 hours uh, on this dsa and development thing is going to be absolutely fine so definitely do that as i said your attendance in college is chill uh, if you are not going to college then you can probably give out some more hours into this thing the thing is the more time you give on this the better and quickly you learn also one thing that i realized down the line is to become great at something you need to be very 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 consistent i'm talking about being great i'm not talking about being good because you need to become great if you see something from a long term perspective and especially coding learning and development and dsa stuffs i am considering that you are going to uh, be in this field for a long long time that's what that's what i think of myself so i am talking about being great in it and to be great in it you need to be very 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 consistent like don't skip any day practice every day solve questions every day even if you are not able to solve any questions just sit with your laptop read the questions if you are not able to solve go and check out the discussions forum go and check out the solution but do something related to this particular things if you are not feeling like sitting today just sit with your laptop you don't have to code anything just 
go out and read some blogs about DSA, just go and read some blogs about the technologies that you are using in your development thing. So yeah, you have to be very, 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 very consistent if you want to learn quickly and if you want to learn uh, things in a better way. Being consistent is very, 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 very important. This is what I have realized down the line and especially for things like coding, consistency is very, very necessary. You will, you, you will be practicing for like 10 hours a day, then skipping two days and then again coming back to it. It's not going to help you to, pro it's not going to help you progress. So you need to be very, very consistent. I know I've been focusing on this consistent word a lot, but this is very, 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 very important to be great at anything you need to be consistent in it so yeah that's quite a lot of motivation now another question arises which is dsa kaha se parhe like uh, prepare kaha se kare uh, some good resources and all by the way there are plenty of good resources about dsa in youtube itself love babbar ka ek course aata hai c++ mein dsa ka kunal kushwa ka java mein dsa ka ek course aata hai amand akhtarwal ka dsa course aata hai i'm not going to comment on which one is good or bad but i initially started with kunal kushwa's java dsa bootcamp it's i i i quite like it even though there are many controversies around it but i quite like the course and i have been following the course since uh, last um, two three months uh, uska, uska jo assignment wala repo hai, github mein kunal ka to wahi se main question solve kar raho, and the thing is it's working for me my logic building part has increased a lot since the day i started Pahle, easy level ka question bhi solve karna mushkil hota tha mere, me, mere se, but abhi medium level ka questions bhi asani se solve kar leta hu dheere dheere aise aise karte karte teen char upcoming three four months ke andar i'll be able to solve hard questions as well so ye confidence aa chuka hai mere mein and if you are consistent enough then ye confidence you will also be having this confidence so yeah like you can take up any of these three as far there are many other channels like pep coding coding school bahut sara channel se you guys also probably know striver wo bhi bahut acha acha videos banata hai in about topics like backtracking dynamic programming and all wo bhi aap follow kar sakte ho when you reach those topics so i'm not going to comment on which one is good which one is bad you can take up any of those my my i started with uh, kunal kushwa's java dsa course and i'm sticking to that only if you want you can definitely go with love c++ course just start with a course uh, like as i said this video is not going to be at all technical so i am not going to cover what language should you be using and all because these all videos you will get on YouTube the best language for DSA and all so yeah my motive for this video is just to create an awareness for first and second year students or students who are starting out early ki if you want you can definitely learn DSA and development together you don't have to like there are a lot of videos where you say that you need to do 6 to 7 months you, you need to learn data structures for 6 to 7 months after that you need to learn development that's not true because I am confidently saying this because this is working for me front end I am quite proficient hu, and the entire front end part I learned while I was learning DSA. So DSA maybe my coffee logic building part acha ho chuka hai and along with that I'm also proficient in front end and right now I'm learning back end along with DSA to DSA mein karta jaunga and uske saath back end bhi karta raunga and at the end of like uh, five to six months I'll be good in DSA and I'll be a full stack developer proper full stack developer and uske baad I can move out to things like blockchain development and all wo baat ka baat hai. so you can definitely do that so this is basically a rough schedule that I'm that I just shared with you all you can definitely take it up also keep this in mind I am saying this again and again don't quote me on this only do both of these things DSA and development together if you are starting out early if you are in your first year or second year if you don't have much time, if you're in your third year, if you're in fourth year to prepare for your placement, then only focus on one single thing. Because in last moment, if you are going to learn both of these things together, then you will not be good at any of those. So starting out early definitely has some advantages. Keep exploring. If you're in your first year, keep exploring different stuffs. Along with it, just keep learning. So I'll be sharing the link of those resources playlist in, in the description box below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it with your friends. Uh, engineer friends I should say so yeah that was it for this video this is me Shubhumoy signing